In today's data science tips in Python, I will show you how to find and count the unique values of a column in a pandas data frame. Additionally, we can calculate the number of occurrences of each value. These are often the first steps in analyzing categorical data in Python. So let's look at some data. We will use the Titanic Kaggle competition data set. And for now, we will only load in the training data. I will post a link to the data on Kaggle down below. Let's look at the head of the data. As you can see, we have categorical and numeric data. So let's make our columns a little easier to work with. We can lowercase all of the characters. And then we can check our data types using the data frame.info. As we can see here, there are 891 rows and we have integers, objects, and floats. Another way to check the number of rows is to take the length of the data frame. 891 as well. Let's start looking at the cabin column. So we can do df underscore train dot cabin to get the column and then to get the unique values we can use the unique function. And this shows us all the unique values of that column including NAN for missing. If you want the number of these or the count of these we can use the length function. And this is 148 unique values including missing as a value. Additionally, if we wanted the number of occurrences of each of these values, we can use value counts. So there's a difference of one between the number of unique values and the length of value counts. This is because value counts drops missing by default. We can change that by using the argument drop na equals false. As, and as you can see, there are 687 missing values. The rest of them are sparsely distributed though, so we could do some feature engineering before we count the values. Let's just take the first character from each string. We can do that by doing .str and then print uh, brackets zero for the first character. As you can see, the missing are still missing in AN, but all the rest are just the first character, C and B in this instance. And we can count those values the same way. As you can see, there are fewer categories and there are more occurrences in each one. So if we wanted to build a model, we might include this feature in our data set. So now you're able to begin analyzing your categorical data in Pandas. Check out the next videos in the series to learn more data analysis and feature engineering in Pandas. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to learn more about data science in Python. Thanks for watching.